Okay, we're going to the admin, click on update data for company. Yeah, she's going to start from Skype. She's refreshing the screen. She's going to the admin. She's going to update data. She's going to the S&P 500. She's going to choose that company. First, the industry. Beautiful. Now she's pulling a company she haven't used at all. Now, since we haven't chosen anything in the list, we're supposed to get an empty page. You see? Honestly, this is very important. We're really starting from scratch. But this company, we have no data. So she's going, hold on a second, slowly, slowly, sweetie, slowly. So she's going, after she sees the data is empty, let me go back to it. You know, the first screen has come up when you try to put a company, you have no data. This is the way it looks like. We have no data. So what she does, she wants to go and get the data for this company. So she is going to the SEC. It says SEC here. And then when she clicks, she gets the list. And then when she clicks on 2020, this is the year we use, not 2021, not 2022, 2020. Fair enough? Okay. We always start with 2020. Now she's going to click on, go ahead, Mildred. Financial statement. And you will see she's choosing balance sheet, but it's going to be empty because we haven't chosen anything. Go ahead, start with cash and cash equivalent. Go ahead, Mildred. Like uh, Mildred is starting from scratch. See the beauty? I don't know if you have a good, hold a second. You see, hold a second, don't, don't click, don't click. Just leave it that way, hold a second. I want you to show you something. By the way, this is, a, again, as I said, this is something we have written. You notice, it says inventory, but you don't see cash and cash equivalent anymore because we already have chosen it. When we choose, let's say inventory, okay? The next time when we look at total current assets, we do not see, we're not gonna see inventory anymore. You automatically remove it because we have already have used it. You got it? Okay. So you choose total current assets, bingo. By the way, you can choose other current assets in that category, but it fills it up automatically. So you can choose other current assets, that's good, it's okay. But, uh, okay, move on, sweetie. Property, plant, and equipment, net. Now, Megan and Darlene, I want you to know it by heart. Now, this industry going to be yours, Darlene. You're gonna be in charge of this industry. You have three companies, okay? okay? By next week, we'll go over this company, we'll finish it up. This week, I wanna finish Megan's company. See, so intangibles, Mildred and uh, Brenda will teach you all those stuff. What do they mean? Okay, the meaning, what is intangibles? What is goodwill? Okay, but now what she does, she's matching. You see, she's matching the titles. It's so important. And companies changing the titles over the years. That's the mess. And that's why we did this. this. Okay, total assets. You know, in a year or two, I want you to be expert also how we built this system. How did we write it? That's what come, it's not that simple. It will come. Long-term debt, beautiful. Where's Brenda? Is Brenda around? Yes, doctor. Brenda, I want you to review every company before I see it. Okay? 
Okay, that's good. It's a process. They will learn and they will get perfect. They need to know what prefer stack mean. Go over that. If you have questions, write them down. I will go over that with you. You know, on Tuesday, any questions on something you need to know. And eventually, I want the four of you to be expert on finance, accounting and finance. And you will be teaching this course and also give services. That will be perfect. Beautiful. Beautiful. Good job. She, she finished the, the balance sheets. Now she's going to the income statement. It will be empty as well. Start filling it up. Who is sitting next to Mildred? That's Miriam. Uh, let me see her. Say hello to her. Hi, Miriam. Hello, doctor. Yeah, I kind of, sometimes I see you, sometimes I don't see you. What's going on? I'm around, I'm around now. That's good. Okay. Go ahead, sweetie. Uh, Mildred, go ahead. Revenue. You? you know how to do it. Remember, it used to take you so long? Yes, okay. Ah, how quick you're doing it now. My God. Much faster than I do it. It's beautiful. Now, Darlene, this is going to be your industry. There's one more company we haven't done. You will do that company. Okay, we'll give you until next week, you'll finish this industry. So during this week, the two weeks, you will learn about the whole things. And then by next week, you have an industry, your own industry. And the next two months, and after two months, you will be expert on this field. Hopefully, we'll have more people that can say, beautiful, good job, beautiful. Uh, beautiful. Wow, looks good. Is that right? Yes. Good. Now, this one usually we don't collect all the data beside depreciation and dividend. In the future, we'll get back to this report. In my opinion, this is one of the most important report. So let's see dividend. Here we go, did it pay dividend? So we will mark dividend. Beautiful. Okay, we're done, is that right? Yes, doctor. Let's pull the data. Now see, hold a second, hold a second. If you click on a data, click on a data, you will see it's empty. It's totally empty. Now what, what Mildred has done, she matched the accounts. So next time she's gonna put the data from the SEC, we will see the data. Go ahead, Mildred. It's like a magic. Is that right, Brenda? It looks like a magic, isn't it? Magic. One day you, will, you appreciate the, what it does, you know, that he knows how to put the data from the SEC the right way. Here we go. She's going to put the ticker. Bingo. Yeah. Now it's cooking. It's pulling the data, the actual data from the SEC. Oh, here we go. Let's go to the A data. You see, the data is there. Most of it. Why it wasn't there. But see, we're missing some stuff. And Mildred knows how to go about it. You know, in Tangerbase 2015, we don't have. Hold a second, hold a second. She's going too fast today. 
Edera. She begins to be so good that I cannot follow anymore. Oh, I go to the Edera, slowly. You see there's data missing. And Mildred and Brenda are going to teach you what to do in those cases. You got it? Yes. Scroll down, scroll more down. Also, now, why does it happen? Because company changed their takes over the years. Okay, most of the data is there. Scroll down, scroll more down. Scroll more down, more down, more down. Hold a second, hold there, hold there. You see revenue, the company most likely have changed the tag in 2000, if this is 20, I think 2017, something like that, this year. In this year, revenue, cost of revenue is missing. Mildred, why don't you show them how you fill it up? Revenue for this year that missing. Two thousand eighteen. So she's going to the ex BRL there. Two thousand eighteen income statement. Is that right? Yes. Sir. And you're seeing the income statement. It will be missing. It shouldn't be missing, but since the company probably have changed the accounting, they are tag behind the screen. <clears throat> and this program knows how to find it out. So click on revenue. Choose revenue and cost of revenue. Okay, now see the magic. Pull the data again. You see, she will pull the data again, it will fill it up. One day I want you to be expert on how does it do it. Not now, step by step. Brenda, you know a lot about that, don't you? Yes, sir. So you can go over that with them, okay? And let's go here, pull the data. You should pull it again, the data. And the beauty now, the system knows that the company have changed the accounting in 2018. And here we go, boom, fill up the revenue. Let's go to the data. Let's scroll down, revenue 2018. You will see it's filled up. Scroll, uh, yeah, here we go. You see revenue, it's filled up, amazing. Okay, now I'm gonna stop here. Is that okay? The reason is because I want you it's to so start teaching each other. But one more thing, and I will let you go on this one. Scroll up all the way up. Go back to the XBRL. To the SEC, no, sorry, to the SEC, SEC, sorry. Click on 2020 and hold a second. There is a special button. This one you always do only with me, going to the financial statements. Click on one of them. And there is a special button going to pop up in a second. You see that one, save as industry default? Everybody see that? Yes. Okay, remember when Mildred have started this company, it was totally empty. She has another company she haven't touched at all. And we want to do something small. Click on that button, Mildred. Let's save, do okay. And it's going to say, okay, good. Now refresh the screen and go to the S&P 500 and put that industry again. and see the magic that happening. Now, this one we're not gonna to do today. Darlene, you are gonna be in charge of this industry. So this company, I just show you how much we made an investment. For that industry. Hold a second, don't move. The last company we haven't done, Seagate Technologies, a huge company, by the way. Seagate, they used to do hard disk for computers. I think they still do. And, but hold a second. Now, notice this one we didn't do. 
And when we did the second one, it was totally empty, okay? Now, when she clicked on the admin and she's gonna pull up the data this time, so she marked that one, she's going to choose this company when she clicks on the name, go ahead, Mildred, click on the third company. It should have been empty, but you will see it's we're not gonna be empty. Go click on it. It's not gonna be empty, why? Which that will finish for today. Oh, it's filled up. A lot of that is filled automatically. How did he know? When Mildred clicked on that special button, the computer have used the same tags as the previous company and the match. And therefore, you know how to find a lot of the data. So a lot of the, these companies using similar tag as the previous one. So this data automatically pulled. If we go to the SEC and look at 2020, it should have been empty, but it's not gonna be empty. It's automatically filled it up from the second company Mildred has done. You'll see this is not gonna be empty. It's automatically filled up. But we will go over that many times. You see, it's beautiful. But now you will go over and fill up the one he couldn't find, okay? Brenda, you and Mildred, Brenda, you know it's perfectly, am I right? Yes, doctor. Okay, Darlene, this is your industry. I will recommend Darlene and M Megan for your industry, start study about those companies, learn the industry. One day you'll be expert on them. And believe me, it's worth a lot of money knowing those companies. Okay? Yes, doctor. And okay, by next week, Darlene, you'll finish those three companies to be perfect. Okay? And Megan, this week, you're gonna finish your industry. And next week, you'll do a different industry. Fair enough? Fair, fair. Good. So thank you guys. I recorded it, I will upload it and I will send you a link. So if you wanna see, you can go over it again. Okay, now for the time I left, uh, whoever wants to stay with me, you're more than welcome. Uh, Brenda, if you want, you're more than welcome to stay with me. I will show you what I did with the stock exchange. That's a very advanced topic. So wait for that. I don't think Megan and Darlene, I think, focus on that one for now, okay? Step by step, we'll get there, okay? I will take the sharing and uh, by the you have time, you wanna see what I did, the mess I did? It's scary, okay. I don't like it. Darlene, this is something you will like as a mathematician, one day you will see. It looks like what it has to do with mathematics. It looks like nothing, but it is, you will see. When you finish certificate three in machine learning, my God, hopefully by the end of the year, okay? You say, my God, I have learned in Academy City more than I learned in college. Okay, and you will see how you really use mathematics to do beautiful stuff. But for now, we just collecting data from the stock exchange. This is, this is not accounting, this is finance. But that's what come later on, okay? So let's go and see what did I do. I'm gonna close this one and I'm gonna open my screen. And the topics is, let me close, no, this one I will leave open. Now, by the way, this is beautiful stuff. This is really hard stuff. But Brenda, I want you as we go, let me stop this, the, the, the recording.